In today's video, I wanted to give you a look at the EG4 FlexBoss 18 all-in-one hybrid solar inverter that I am using to power this game room that I just put in or had installed, brought in, and I'm right now actually doing insulation and wiring, and you can kind of see here behind me what's going on. Definitely a construction zone, but I wanted to go over the FlexBoss 18 and why I chose that inverter for this job and how it actually works. So here is the FlexBoss 18 inverter, and I've got right below it here the 14.3 kilowatt EG4 all-weather battery, so it can communicate directly to the inverter via closed-loop communication, and for those of you who don't know what that is, you can communicate with your batteries basically just directly from voltage, basically from the battery, through the voltage wires, and you're only going to get voltage readings. And that's how your inverter will know the state of charge. Or you can use this orange cable right here with specific batteries, especially EG4 batteries that can communicate directly and you'll get a lot more information, charge and discharge more efficiently, last longer. I think the verdict's still out there on whether or not that is accurate, but that's the going consensus that if you can do closed loop communication, do it. So how does this work? Well, basically my solar panels bring in obviously DC power and it goes through one of these lines right here actually to be specific it is this line right here that goes out to my solar panels feeds those pv wires through this conduit box and then i feed those up into right here now this is a lot all this is live right here electricity so i'm not gonna get my hands too close in here but there's a positive and a negative cable i just have one string of solar panels out there and that's what powers this entire game room which is going to be a golf simulator basically a golf simulator back here uh, mini split eg4 air conditioner up there um, i'm going to have a bunch of different arcade games in here as well so it's gonna be a pretty cool place to hang out so getting back to how this works so the solar power comes in from my panels into here and then this flex boss 18 actually inverts that power from dc to ac the kind of power that we use inside our houses or this game room so how that works is Right here, you see where it says load. So basically all that power that's coming in from the solar panels gets converted, goes to here and gets sent out from AC. You can see a, I've got two different lines here that are AC power, uh, line one and line two. So I can get 240 volts and you'll see the white neutral back there. That goes from the inverter down through this conduit here into this sub panel. And you'll see I've got a two positive lines, the neutral, and then I installed my own ground terminal back there. It's kind of hard to see. And I'm still obviously working. I've got all these Romex wires hanging out that are all my outlets and different lights and things like that that I still have to tie in here. But this is basically in a nutshell how it works. And then you've got the battery here and you have two positive and two negative battery cables that just get hooked right into those lugs back there. And you hook the grounds up back there. And then you've got, you're probably wondering, well, what's this, what's these lines over here? Well, these other two are basically my grid. So that's my backup power for this place. So I'm gonna be priority running on solar and battery power. But if for some reason they've got a couple day storm, I don't have enough uh, battery to run my system, then it'll go to grid, which is my backup. And that connects kind of about 300 feet away. Actually, I don't even have it connected yet because I don't even, I have it connected here, but I don't have it on connected to the panel um, uh, that's 300 feet away yet because I really, this has plenty of power for me to run this building. Um, and I, even with cloudy days, I still have enough power to run this building. So it's very efficient with that EG4 mini split, which I'll leave a link to as well. I'll have a link in for all of these components I'm using for this in the description of the video. So make sure you check that out if you're interested and a discount code that'll get you probably 50 bucks off if you wanna buy it as well. So while this is a backup connection right now, I'm not using it, but it does have a 90 amp pass through. So what does that mean? That means I could run up to 90 amps from the grid if I wanted to. So if I overloaded this thing, so, and to give you an idea, this thing can run 13,000 watts continuously if you have solar present. If there's no solar present, then it can run up to 10,000 watts continuously from the battery only. Now, how much is that? That's more than enough to run most houses, unless you're all electric. If you have like your oven running, your clothes dryer running, your water heater running all at the same time, you will go over 10,000 watts for a short period of time. So that could trip this thing if you have that. But for most homes that have natural gas connections or propane, this is probably enough. 
Though if you're gonna do it for a whole house, I'd probably use its big brother, which is the Flex Boss 21. This is the Flex Boss 18. The 21's a little bit bigger, can handle a little bit more power. Uh, but this can handle up to 18,000 watts of solar panels, which is more than you can get on your house. So if you have a ground mount, you could probably get, I mean, obviously as big as the ground mount as you have land available, you can put, um, but 18,000 watts is super overkill for this building. I've only got 3,000 watts hooked up and that still runs this thing, this building totally right now with just the air conditioning, the lights, and when I put video games in here. So it's more than enough power for this. And it's actually very easy to install. Though I do recommend if you don't understand what you're doing, hire an electrician to at least make the final connections when you're actually connecting it to power, like to the panel here. Um, you don't want to kill yourself doing this. So I definitely recommend hiring a professional if you don't know what you're doing, but you can still get the battery in place, mount the inverter. Um, you can do a lot of this work yourself and save yourself a ton of money. So other things about this inverter, um, the solar PV connections there, you can do up to 600 volts. DC power coming from your solar panels. So no need for a combiner box out there, which definitely saves a ton of work. And there's a total of two MPPTs on this. You can kind of see back there. Um, there's PV1, there's two slots for positives and two slots for negatives on the first PV1 there. And then PV2 also same thing. This unit is outdoor rated as well. So I definitely needed that because I wanted the space inside for the golf simulator in here. So I didn't want the battery and the inverter taking up space here or getting hit by a golf ball. That would be bad. Um, so wanted an outdoor rated one. So this is ready to be outdoor, though you don't want it in direct sunlight or direct water really hitting it hard. Like if you look here, the runoff from the roof would run right on top of it. So I put in this little awning here that I got off Amazon for like 45 bucks that does the job. And while it gets a little bit of sun uh, in the morning right now, by the time the afternoon comes when it gets really hot, the sun's more overhead and this thing is completely shaded. So I haven't had any issues with overheating. It does have a 10 year warranty, which is basically the best warranty I'm seeing in the industry right now. And these units have ran flawless for me. I've used a lot of EG4 products, so I definitely do recommend them. And here's an add on that um, you can put on here as well, because if you notice, there's no LCD screen on the front. So you can't see the state of charge, how much solar you're bringing in you have to use the app. Well, if you don't want to use the app, you don't want to be connected to internet, for instance, like I right now, I don't have any internet out here. So if you don't want to be hooked up or you're worried about China, whatever, hacking into your inverter, you don't even have to have the internet hooked up to it. You can add this LCD screen here. And I know it's kind of in the sun. So let me see if I can shade it a little bit and you can see what it looks like, but that's the LCD screen right there. So I can change all the settings directly on it. So I do not have to have an internet connection if you don't want it. So this is about a hundred bucks, I believe for the screen. And it's super easy to add on. You just, I mean, I bought some uh, Velcro tape and use that to stick this to. And then they give you these little clips kind of to stick on there. And then it just plugs in right onto the board here. It's kind of hard to see, but I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to install it. And that's after reading the instructions, that's including reading the instructions. So it's very simple to use. So that in a nutshell is how the Flexboss 18 works in tandem with this EG4 14.3 kilowatt hour battery. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. Other than that, I'm gonna keep giving updates on this building as I get it built. Um, but it's definitely been a project and I've done 99% of the work myself. So a um, lot of work, but gonna be rewarding to be able to have this awesome game room out here. Anyways, that's it for now, everyone.